Cody. Yeehaw! You can tell we're eating everything in a new land today. It may or may not be a frontier land. It's frontier land. It's frontier land. It's frontier land. We are eating everything once again, this time in Frontierland. Yep. This land has a few snack-based kind of locations, smaller stands, and then obviously the very big Pecco Spills Tall Tale Inn. I'm excited. We're ready to get our cowboy fixins on and have some Frontierland fun. Yeah, again. As you can see, it's a rainy day here in Frontierland, but that won't stop our feasting. Nope. As always, we are going to be skipping anything generic or specialty, so turkey legs, churros, pretzels, Mickey bars, as well as any 50th anniversary stuff, we won't be getting today. And uh, now it's time to start the hoedown. To giddy on up. In line now at Westward Ho, this is a cute little stand right across from Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. This one is open for breakfast as well. They do cold brews from Joffrey's as well as the same breakfast sandwich and donuts that Quincy and I had in the Fantasyland video. So you can go watch that if you'd like to know what those taste like. We will not be getting them again. And then at lunchtime, lunch dinner time, they switch over to have some tasty, savory treats and snacks that you can only get here. So we're going to grab them now, of course. At lunch and dinner westward ho has jalapeno poppers candy bacon obviously we're getting both of those things they have a bear claw that's available at breakfast as well corn dog nuggets i'm gonna ask but i think they're the same one as casey's um and then they do serve uh, cold brew here can't move order but it's good to know all right it is uh monsooning out so we are hiding in a corner of pecos as, as one does to eat our westward ho snacks so this is Candy bacon on a stick. It's a giant bacon skewer and it comes with chips, but if you ask for it without chips, it'll be a little bit cheaper, which is nice. I'm interested. I'm yeah. interested in giant bacon skewer. It looks like a nice big fatty piece of bacon. Yeah, it does. Right next to it is the jalapeno poppers. Oh, are those a delicacy? I believe they are a delicacy. Okay, yeah, yeah. jalapeno. Yeah, it's okay. a frontier land. It's you can only get it on the frontier. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yes. That makes sense. And that's it's served with a very exquisite Ken's ranch. A very exquisite <laughs> Ken's buttermilk ranch. That's that's good stuff right frontier there. Frontier, if I ever heard it. And then um, just for quality control purposes, mostly. Yeah, quality control. We had to get Joffrey's cold brew as well to make sure it's the same. Yeah, we wanted to make sure if this is better cold brew, we would be doing you a disservice if, if we, didn't we didn't tell, tell you. you. Yeah, so, so you're welcome. Welcome. Yeah, so, so we got this yeah, they have regular cold brew. You can add flavors into it. Um, and I did confirm the corn dog nuggets are the same as Casey's, and they don't have plastic cheese there. So if you want corn dog nuggets, go to Casey's. But let's see how these snacks are. All right, I'm starting out with a jalapeno popper, the delicacy of the frontier. Super thick breaded outside, very crispy. It's it's like extra fried, and then on the inside you've got the like perfectly cooked, obviously jalapeno pepper. It's not overly spicy, like I think maybe it's a seeded pepper. So I can't really like, I'm not like, obviously it's a little spicy. You have to like the flavor of jalapenos to try this, but I don't know, it's really good. I think this is a really fun snack, especially in Magic Kingdom when there aren't a ton of fun snacks. So I get this again. I am gonna try this bacon on a stick. It's thick, with two C's I would say. That's a big piece of fatty bacon. Yeah, it's got like a smoky maple coating. It's a pretty good serving too. If you want a big fat piece of bacon, I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Free love. Free love does not. Free love doesn't. But if you do, it's pretty good. I don't know if I would get this over maybe like spring rolls, but if you're a big bacon fan, I feel like you should get this one. Definitely share them because it's big. And uh, now we're going to try these cold brews. Yeah, that tastes the same. I think I can give it a pass, yeah. You can get delicious cold brew in Frontierland. Keep in mind, they don't have mobile order, but sometimes it's better to wait in a 15 minute line than walk all the way to yeah. Fantasyland. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. Molly, I like this hat. That is a nice jaunty hat. I like the feather on it. I. Are we in Pecos or Tortuga Tavern, technically? I think technically we're in Tortuga Tavern section, so technically in Adventureland. But, like, everyone loves keys and lanterns. Yeah, especially cowboys Cowboys and pirates. and pirates. Yeah. Do you think that Jar of Dirt is the Jar of Dirt from Pirates of the Caribbean? 
You know, now that you mention it, it looks a lot like it. it. It might not be the same one, but it looks too much like the Jar of Dirt to not be a reference to the Jar of Dirt. Yeah, I don't feel confident saying this was screen use, but I feel confident saying this is a good Easter egg. It's a good Easter egg. Me too. Yeah. Easter egg discovered. Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe is, of course, the main quick service restaurant here in Frontierland. It's where you can get Tex-Mex as well as some burgers, um, but they're most known for tacos, nachos, fajitas. I actually, this is probably my pick. This and Columbia Harbor House are probably my pick for full quick service. I, I like this one. Because I love Mexican food. It's also pretty large, lots of indoor seating, yeah. usually loud. But. but as with any, it is peak lunchtime, so it took about 15 minutes or so for our ready our order to be ready after I clicked the button. I can't imagine why. We just got a quick we snack. We just got a small snack. Just like a snack. little, just a couple things. Yeah, a light lunch for a light two. light lunch for two. First up, Pecos Bills. All right, so looking at what we need to get, we need to get the... Nugget churros, which are a 50th treat because they have glitter on them, but they have the nugget churros all the time. Uh, the cinnamon sugar donuts. I hope you're ready to eat a lot of donuts because I will have nothing to do with that. With the fajita platter, and um, we're going to add the guacamole on that. It's okay. pork and okay. chicken, black beans and rice. You can customize it, which is nice in the app. Like if you wanted all chicken or all rice or something, you could. We're going to get everything. So for the rice bowl, do you want chicken, beef, or Pork. I feel like beef nachos. Beef, beef nachos. nachos. Beef nachos. Chicken rice bowl. Chicken rice bowl. Yeah. We're gonna add queso because obviously it's so good. Obviously, um, which means we'll get the salad with pork. Yes. So that we have covered pork and chicken, and then beef nachos. We're gonna add our queso. Oh, that comes with queso. Bonus. Oh, and so much queso. More so the taco trio comes with one of each. You can customize it again. You could get all chicken tacos if you wanted, but we're gonna get one of each meat. Mm -hmm. uh, the Southwest salad we already got. The veggie rice bowl is just the rice bowl, but you don't get meat, you get veggies, so I don't think we need to that, but that's your plant-based option here. And then Uncrustables, rice, sides. I think we should get a couple extra queso sides. They're one dollar. And they have mac and cheese, which again, we've had. What would you like to drink? I'm gonna go with an iced tea. I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a water. I'm gonna start hydrated. Okay, we can ask for water in there. Grand total, eighty three dollars and eighty three cents. Oh, could have done that. Fine. One thing to note about Pecos Bill is this spot used to be pretty famous for having a killer toppings bar. It was awesome. It had everything you could possibly want to load on your Tex-Mex meal. Unfortunately, the toppings bar has been unavailable since Pecos Bill reopened after the 2020 park closures. Hopefully it will return. It's obviously still in here taunting me, but uh, for now, your toppings are all gonna have to come when you order. And one day maybe we will reunite with salsa. All right, we are headed to counter eight. Now I will say a lot of people ask us this, do you have to mobile order? You don't have to. However, it's gonna go a lot faster because these restaurants usually only have one counter available to order with a person. So it's a lot faster to mobile order. And there are allergy guides when you're mobile ordering. You can click allergy and it will show you all the big allergies and what you can and cannot consume. Um, it'll give you the ingredient list there. So I know that's a big concern for people, but mobile ordering really is faster. Look at those lines over there. That's people trying to just pay. And we're walking right up to get our food. I may have underestimated how much I can eat. Yeah, well you're in charge here, so I, I did. Have a plan. I know, I told you I could eat all the Mexican food but it's um, quite a bit. You can see here that, as Quincy said, the toppings bar is closed, but they can give you the toppings and you can customize it in the app or just let them know when you get in. Um, if you'd like extra toppings, they'll get it for you at the counter. Trying to find a table. This is what I'm talking about. Peak lunchtime can be tricky to try and find a table. Do you see a table? Um, oh, there's some over there. No, but... Wait. 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 What are you doing here? We don't need, we don't need to take us for lunch? Uh, we, no, are we, we are here to take us for lunch. lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's delicious. What'd you just eat? Nachos. A whole thing of nachos by yourself? Yes. Are you still hungry? Always. Great. That's good news. We have some food. All right, thank goodness we ran into Alan. I know. No one could have predicted no that. No one could have seen that coming. Uh, so let's review everything we got. Here is our taco trio. Again, you can get any combo you want, but we've got the beef, the chicken, and the pork. Um, here we've got the chicken and rice bowl, which you can see has chicken on top and some fajita vegetables and some black beans. 
This is one of my favorite things to smother in queso and, and stick in my mouth. Absolutely. So, and so you can pick, that. you can get pork on that as well, or just veggies, and then it's plant-based. Um, here we have the fajita platter. Again, pork and chicken, um, rice and beans, and fajita veggies. You can customize this as well. You can do all of one meat, all rice, whatever you'd like. This here is the Southwest salad with pork, and you can see that it's just kind of a general salad, but it's got some tortilla little bits and pico de gallo, it looks like, and then the pork all on top. Comes with the dressing on the side. We will be smothering it in that, of course. Yes, we will. And that one also, you can do chicken or no meat if you're um, vegetarian. Then here we have the cinnamon sugar donut holes, which Quincy and Alan are going to have to eat all of because not for me. Oh, no. Um, and then we have the beef nachos. And these also can be chicken or pork if you'd prefer. And they're just the chips, queso, and the meat. And then with all of these things, basically, you can get toppings. You can customize it in the app. If something's missing, if you say, oh, I actually like lettuce, just let the cast members know when you mm -hmm. pick it up, and they'll make sure you get it. Um, last but not least. These are the nugget churros, which, again, are technically a veggie treat, but they do have churros here all the time. So we went ahead and got them for science. For yes. Food science. They All they do to make them a seasonal treat is put them in different glitter, yes. sugar. And so they're the same glittery. all time yeah. and um as a fun bonus a cast member gave us mac and cheese on accident and it was like oh you can keep it and, and we, we were, were like oh you're right we don't have great we don't have enough we, food. we're gonna be hungry we if we don't really have that hungry without that so. mac and cheese um and then my favorite thing about pecos is that this queso and it's actually like got a little bit of heat it's, it's not really plastic good cheese queso. it's like legitimate queso is one dollar so that's why there's many this is it not today not today. We don't waste food here. We do not waste not food good. here. It's not drizzling as no. sexily as it's I more of a to. It's more of a glob. It's more of a glue. Okay, Pecos Bills. This salad is very good. I think it's the dressing. It's like a creamy um, chipotle ranch. And then it's got fresh produce. I love the crunch of the tortilla strips. The pork's actually seasoned pretty well. TBD if I maintain that opinion when I eat the pork without this dressing. But much like the Cosmic Ray salad, I'm pleasantly surprised, and I would absolutely order this if I was in the park and wanted something a little bit lighter and fresher. I'm making a little fajita. No, I'm just making a fajita. A little oh, there's pork. There's multiple meats here. Yeah, pork and chicken. A little rice, a little rice. fajita veggie. Yeah, I should get more fajita veggie. They're in there, but they're very important. What I do like about Pecos is it's very allergy friendly for the most part, because if you've got somebody that's not going to do dairy, you can easily make stuff without dairy. If you've got somebody that's plant-based or vegetarian, that's easy. That's neat. Qu Quincy is clearly... I'm you doing dairy. Yeah, yeah, I do have the dairy issues. Did you bring your pills? I took them already. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> the two meats together are tasty. There's a lot of really good flavor in the pork, I feel like. And then the chicken is a more, like, just mild, goes with anything sort of meat, so it goes really well together. Um, my favorite part of this is definitely going to be the fajita vegetables because they are cooked really well. You can taste that they have a good bit of seasoning to them, and they really, like, step this up from being just, you know, like a boring meat and tortilla situation. Um, this isn't my favorite thing to order here, but it is the exact same food as what is my favorite thing to order here. So I'm going to say this is pretty good. Yeah, basically pick the ver version of this food. You want it in a taco, you want a fajita, you want a bowl, you want a salad. It's all the same. Just present it differently. Oh, Alan's leveling up with the hot sauce. Right. Sorry. Right, carry oh, on. Yeah, go on. Is that taco good? Yeah. I notice not enough people are putting sour cream on things at this table, and I'm here to change that because I love sour cream. You're not supposed to open things with your teeth. I know, the dentist hates me. All right, nachos time. Nachos are one of my favorite foods, so I'm very excited. Again, they come plain, just meat and queso, but they're good. I love this queso. It's actually got the slightest bit of heat because it's like pepper jack cheese. I actually think the beef is pretty seasoned as well. I mean, does it taste like I just went and got that taco kit in the yellow box at my grocery store and made it at home? Yeah. But am I mad about it? No, I'm not. But yeah, I like the nachos, and I think the nachos are a good shareable if you're not wanting a full meal. The nachos are a really nice thing that a bunch of people could snack on together. I'm making a little taco sitch. Very oozy. I think the beef for me is my least favorite of the meats, unless it's on the nachos. It's, the beef is really suited to the nachos. It's spiced well, but it's like the way that the liquid kind of collects around the beef is not as satisfying as the juicy pulled chicken and pulled pork, but the beef being more, um, what's it called, crumbly? 
ground meat. So ground. Yeah. Ground was what I was going for. So just texturally, I think this meat is the least satisfying for me. It's still very good. I like this restaurant because there are more interesting flavors because they do season the meats and the vegetables and things like that. Um, and then this with the just with the straight lettuce and tomato, pretty satisfying. Yeah. Alan, what's been your favorite thing so far? Oh, well, there's been different things. Um, <laughs> I know you're like a Hoover vacuum uh -huh. consuming all this food. The dressing's been a great. I like that. That's on the good. salad? Yeah. If you put that dressing on everything else here, I would eat all of that much faster. Oh, you heard? Pro tip from Alan. Ask for the uh, vinaigrette from the salad for your other dishes. I'm eating the last taco. I got the chicken one. I'm going to dress it like I'm at Taco Bell because I like at Taco Bell when you go for the supreme version of the taco, which means sour cream, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion. So that's what I'm going to put. I say Taco Bell because that's the quality of food that we're eating. And I love Taco Bell. It's not a knock. I'm not trying to tell you this is like superb Mexican food. It is very much quick service Mexican food. Um, it's probably a little nice with the taco, but the chicken's got a nice cilantro flavor going on. Um, I love the fresh produce, tastes a lot of that sour cream. For me, I actually prefer the beef over the chicken because I think the beef has a little bit more flavor, has a little bit more, just the tiniest amount more heat, and it's got a lot of that cumin and garlic and like chili that you associate with Mexican food. It's not super hot by any means, but I prefer the beef over the chicken personally, so that's okay. what I would get when I was here. I will say, I think the tacos are my least favorite thing here. Um, it's the tortilla for me. The tortilla is not great. Uh, when I did a taco throwdown, this was absolutely my bottom. And it was because the other places that you can get tacos, like over at the Mexico Pavilion in Epcot, they have a really good tortilla. So for me, the tacos are my least favorite. I much prefer the bowl or the nachos or the salad because the tortillas aren't a win on my, my opinion. I'm going in for the chicken and rice bowl, which is a, a favorite of mine. Um, this is what I order here at Pecos Bill. I always get the queso and I always pour the entire cup of queso in and then just mix it up. That's how you gotta do That's it. That's how you gotta do it. This one's my favorite for a reason. Fun, I love the chicken here. But the big thing is that I really like their rice. It's Spanish yellow rice. It's very good, it's got a lot of awesome flavor, and this is the dish out of all of them that showcases the rice the most. I'm a big rice and beans person. I also really like any instance where you can have a bowl full of food and just mix it up and not have to think about your bias at all, which is what happens here. Um, but I will get this again, I get it every time I'm here, and uh, with good reason, it's my favorite. I also order the rice bowl probably most frequently when I visit, but I order the kid size. That's one of my permanent pro tips for eating at Disney World is to order the kid size when you can, because um, that way you have more room in your belly for more delicious snacks. So I order the kids chicken, and then I get the queso and add it on top. So you can do that as well. And there are kids tacos and stuff as well too, if you don't want a full taco trio. The concentration. The suspense is really killing of me. Of trying right? to put the salad dressing on the taco. Is that a good pro tip? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of the churro bites. Uh, it comes with a little chocolate sauce. I will say notoriously, churros, not my favorite thing at Disney World, not my favorite treat. All right, does have copious amounts of sugar on the outside, which is doing something for it. Disney World churros are a travesty if you've had a Disneyland churro. I haven't, so this is pretty good. These are actually, I think, better than one of the first ones. Yeah. They're not as dry. No. They're good, still a little dry. They're still a little dry. They're a good shareable dessert, but they're not like blanket statement. 97.9% of restaurants in Disney World, you are better off not getting dessert and going somewhere else mm -hmm. to get a dessert. You are steps away from a low aha aisle, get a dole. Whip. There's a dole. Whip. I can I can hear it. And smell one. Yeah. So you're probably full from your lunch. I don't really recommend dessert at any quick service restaurant. So you're better off going to get some kind of dole treat, ice cream at the bar, Mickey bar, Mickey bar, like confectionery something. Yeah. There's better stuff out there. Yeah. You're not gonna dip it? Why did you put this in front of me? Why did I put what in front of you? Yeah. Immediately no. Immediately, absolutely not. Nope. I really don't understand how how these are different to you from a churro. I like that. I that like the same. <laughs> it's memories. So back in my youth, I 
I would get really car sick, and my parents would stop on road trips at Dunkin' Donuts and get a box of the Munchkins and put them on the center console. So then the whole time they were driving, I would smell the Munchkins, and then I would get car sick. So it is like like a Pavlov's dog reaction to donuts, and that's why I don't like donuts. I actually, for many years, couldn't eat yellow rice because I went deep sea fishing one time and I had eaten the yellow rice and you threw up the yellow rice. A lot, a lot. Then you get it. Yeah. So I can, I can get, I can respect it. Some people can't drink tequila because that happened to them. I can't eat donuts because that happened to me. So these are not the best donut holes you'll ever have. I will say they're pretty similar to Dunkin' Donuts, in my opinion. I have a Krispy Kreme gal. And so these are not in the realm of donuts that I like. If you like Dunkin' over Krispy Kreme, we need to talk because you're wrong. If you want a donut in this park, go to Joffrey's in Tomorrowland and get the big donut. It's made by Donut King, which is a local bakery. That really is good. a very good donut. And I, even I can say that that's a good donut. This is co These are covered in like really nice fine powdered sugar though that like it's stuck to your hand. It's cinnamony a little bit. So I would say you could probably funnel these into your child if they needed something sweet while you're here at Petco Spill. But so, again, it's <laughs> better options out there. Yeah. <laughs> Two no's on the donut holes. We don't know if it's a no. It, it looks yes. like a no. Looks like a no. And Molly is putting some mac and cheese. I mean hot sauce on her mac and cheese. Yeah, like Yelena and Hawkeye. She puts the hot sauce on mm -hmm. it, that's what I'm doing. Okay, this is a pretty generic mac and cheese, so we weren't gonna get it just because you can get it many, many other places, so it doesn't count for our challenge. Yeah, we reviewed um, it in uh, Tomorrowland. As yes, well. and at uh, CC Kids, what are you doing? Well, we've run out of chips, you see. So, that's not okay. That's delicious. Is it, did you just come up with a new hack? Yeah, it's like Mexican macaroni and cheese. That does sound very good. All right, well, carry on. One thing I love at uh, this restaurant is you can make a double salad. If you double just add, the salad, double the fun. add your toppings from the tacos back into your salad bowl, and you got a salad number two. That's just in case you've eaten salad number one and are still hungry. This is why you don't have self-serve plastic cheese anymore. Uh, Pickles Bill has yeah. a lot of things on the menu. I didn't even think I was that full and then I stood up. I'm good. I'm gonna go actually get some ice cream. Like a Mickey Preem. Mickey Mickey Preem Preem. Sure. I'm gonna right. go. Um, you, are you good? What was your favorite thing? Oh, they were different, right. Uh, the salad was good. Get the dressing for everything. Pro tip, go in and get a Mickey Mickey Preem Preem. Okay. Bye. Bye. I really like the chicken and rice bowl, which is which is validating because yeah. I've been getting that. Yeah, it's and good so to know, know you've been ordering the right thing. Yeah, now I know that there's nothing that I like better. Yeah, I also really like the rice bowl, um, and then I also again like the nachos. Your favorite thing might have been the, the beef hot sauce mac and cheese that, that was you made. Delicious. The nacho mac and I'm cheese. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was a Molly creation. If I could get just a cup of beef. If they would sell me that, I would do that more often. I, yeah, I like the nachos if I'm feeling like something smothered in queso and crunchy. If I'm feeling a little healthier, I do the bowl. Yeah. I really like Pe Pecos. has been my one of my go-to quick service in this park for a long time. Mostly because, um, how do I say this delicately? The food in this park is bad. Yeah. That wasn't very delicate. It's the nicest thing. It was pretty accurate, though. Yeah. And then when you think about how good the food is in Disneyland, it, it makes me physically angry. But Pecos is a good spot if you've got a mix of eaters. Yes. If you want some a burger. A burger. Or you want something a little bit more flavorful, like the rice bowl. It's also very filling. So if you've like accidentally gone too long without eating, which I do constantly every single day in Disney World, it's a good thing to be like, oh, no, I need sustenance now. Yeah. It's very filling. Yeah. So I love Pecos. Goes, um, and we're gonna go do anything else but eat for a few minutes because yes. we've got more places to go. Yeah, Frontierland fun. Frontierland fun. <gasps> Should we go see the Country Bear Jam? I was literally gonna ask you if you okay. wanted to see Country yes, Bear. Yes, let's go do that. Um, so, Quissy, what was your favorite thing at Frontierland? I have to say, I was a big fan of the jalapeno poppers. Oh, sure. I thought that those were a fun snack. I think they're, you know, just a little spicy. They were very well made. They come with the delicacy of Ken's buttermilk ranch. ranch. So I think those are probably my winner. Not that Frontierland is great. For, for food, but those are my winner. What did you like? 
I liked the bacon. I thought that was a good snack if you are a bacon eater, something a little different, big chunks of meat. I also, Pecos isn't anything, like it's not a delicacy, it's nothing extremely delicious, but I always count on Pecos as a reliable meal. Especially when I'm really hungry. When I'm really hungry, I do Pecos quite a bit because it's pretty simple. It can please most people in your group. Very filling. Um, I, queso's there. So I do a Pecos bowl. I didn't love the salad at Pecos just because of the vessels that I want to eat shredded meats and cheeses on. Lettuce is not my favorite. Yeah. I also don't love the tacos. They're pretty generic tacos. I'm much a big fan of the rice bowls over the tacos. Mm, yes, agreed. I love a rice bowl. We're going to keep eating it, everything in other lands. We've got a few more left here in Magic Kingdom, and then we're on to other parks. Yep, let us know where you want to see us eat next. And now, go watch our Eating Everything in Tomorrowland video. Bye! Bye. Yeehaw!